I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my forecast for you, Libra, for the week of September the 26th. Okay, now I have a new website which I've been mentioning over the last couple of weeks. It's uh, jenniferangel.com. It's actually jenniferangelhoroscope.com, but uh, <coughs> excuse me, it's easier to promote Jennifer Angel. Now I will be finishing up my long association with daily news at the end of this month, so if you've been reading me on there, uh, you can now switch it back over to um, jenniferangel.com, okay? Yeah, I've been with them 10 years, so all good things come to an end eventually, as they say, and something else uh, something else starts. So let's let's see. There's certainly this coming week is a, is a great week um, for, for all of us, and particularly for you, uh, Libra, because the sun and Jupiter are in conjunction and in your sign. So... This is thought to be the <clears throat> luckiest uh, interaction between planets uh, right through the year. I like uh, Jupiter and Venus personally, um, but you know what? Anything to do with Jupiter is good. It's a planet of abundance and expansion, and it just happens to be in your sign for the next uh, 12, 13 months. So this is a time of opportunity and certainly to kick it off it just moved into your sign about a week ago or so um, and you know to kick it off with with a conjunction with the sun is very um, advantageous so it's certainly a good omen of things to come I hope so and as I said when Jupiter is in your sign it is a time of opportunity, so you, you do need to, you know, watch out for that and because, you know, opportunities can just as easily pass you by if you're not, uh, you know, quick to stand up and make them your own. Uh, <clears throat> and the other thing that's happening this week is that Mars is making a move into your home and family area of life and you're going to join Pluto, which is coming out of retrograde after a five-month period. So... This can really put a um, you know, trigger and a push on things happening around your home environment and with family. So if you've been trying to bring something to a conclusion or to a head or trying to get it to you know, change so you can either uh, make it better or discard it, then that can happen during this time. Certainly Mars is the planet of action and motivation and it's like the trigger to get things done so that has a good feel about it for your life as well um, and Venus in the sign next to yours yours the solar second house of um, money and possessions and material wealth has a, a favorable connection with um, Neptune now um, this this for you is in an area where it's good to take a little bit of time out for some self-pampering and if you've got a little extra cash, spend it on doing something special for yourself, whether it's a, a massage or a um, pedicure or, uh, you know, just going out to sh shopping. So, uh, but be careful because Venus is the temptress and um, Neptune is you know, a bit fanciful, so if you, you know, you want to set yourself a budget too, that's always a good idea. Um, <clears throat> and then we have a new moon right at the end of the week in your sign as well. So this does, is an indication that you can close the door on things from the past that are not working for you and new doors can open for you to excuse me, move into the future. So all in all, it's a very optimistic week, certainly after the intense September that we've had. So I hope something fabulous comes through for you. And um, <clears throat> thanks so much for watching and look forward to seeing you over at jenniferangel.com. Thanks so much. Bye.